Hey, what's up guys? I'm Neil and I'm a freshman at Syracuse University and I figured it would be really helpful to make a video where I shared with you what it's like to go here as a freshman. Now, obviously this year is COVID-19 pandemic, so it's gonna be a little bit different and I'll share some of like what's different because of that. But then also if you're someone watching this video a few years down the line and you just want to know what the school is like. I think this video will also help you with that. So I'm going to start off by talking about kind of what kind of classes you're going to expect here, like what the just the general dorm life is like, campus life is like. And then I'm going to give you a little tour of my dorm. I live in Day Hall, so I'm going to give you like a tour of that. And then at the very end of the video, I have a little vlog from like just some random weekend a few weeks back that I'm going to share with you guys so you can kind of know what a weekend might be like if you are going to Syracuse. All right, so let's start off with kind of the dorms and dining halls and what you're going to get with that. So there's about five freshman dorms. There is Flint and Day on Mount Olympus, and I'm on Day. So Mount Olympus is just kind of this big hill that has these two dorms. Those are some of the bigger dorms. And then there's also Sadler, Lawrenson, and BBB, which is made up of Boland, Brewster, and Brockway. You don't necessarily need to know that because you don't get to pick which dorm you get put into, but it's just kind of good to know. Um, but essentially you'll just be assigned a dorm and then you're gonna end up going there. And then there's a few different dining halls. There's Graham Dining Hall up on Mount Olympus where I am. And then there's Sadler Dining Hall, Brockway Dining Hall, and I believe like Shaw Dining Hall. Shaw is another dorm. So those are like the normal dining halls. They're all like kind of the same, honestly. And then if you're looking for like good dining halls, there's Kimmel, which has kind of like a food court kind of thing. They have like a Mexican restaurant. They have like pizza. They have a Dunkin' Donuts just in there. And you can like use your meal swipes on that stuff and everything. So that's super cool. And then there are like a few restaurants. Like I, I haven't been there, but there's like a Starbucks that you can use your meal swipes on and a few different restaurants like that, which is pretty cool. So you'll honestly figure that all out once you get here though. It's all kind of just like You'll, you'll pick it up as you go along. So don't worry if I just rattled off like a bunch of different names and you're like, what was he talking about? Now, in terms of the classes that you're gonna have, obviously you're gonna have different classes based on your major and everything. But one thing that I think is a little bit unique about Syracuse is that most of the time you're gonna start off with like five core classes rather than like four. I think most colleges usually have like four classes per semester. So you're gonna have five classes and then you're gonna have two other classes, um, two kind of like smaller classes. So the first one is SEM 100 and that is kind of like how not to be racist 101 or like how not to like just be a bad person. It does have some homework for it, but it's not anything crazy. It's not like a ton of work. There's also a good chance that you'll have one other seminar class for your major where you just kind of go in and like talk about how classes are going or whatever. And that one's super easy, no homework. Like, I don't think you even technically have to go. Classes are a little bit weird this year. Hopefully it's not the same way next year, but you never know. So I'll show you kind of what it looks like. We're all distanced by like six feet from each other. And then also a lot of the classes aren't even in person or they're like a mix between like, say if you have two classes a week, one of the classes in it is in person. And then one of the classes is over Zoom. And then some classes are completely over Zoom. Some classes are completely asynchronous, which means like literally you don't even have a Zoom class. You just like watch videos or whatever and then do your homework. So that is definitely a new thing here. And hopefully if you're going here next year or something like that, you're not gonna have to deal with as much of that. So now that we've got all that out of the way, I'm gonna take you on a little bit of a tour of my room and the lounge and stuff like that, just, just my dorm here. I just realized that my room is super messy, so that's a shame. But I live in day, so this is what a day dorm looks like, and most dorms look pretty similar to this unless they're a split. Uh, there are also split dorms where you have like a wall right in between the, the beds, and then it's gonna be a little bit bigger. But this is pretty much what most open rooms look like. You've got the layout here. This is pretty much how it comes. You could move it around if you want things in different spots, but you've got a desk for each person, two drawer things for each person, a bed for each person, and then like some closet 
space with like some little cubbies and stuff like that. So that's what the room looks like. Now I'll show you what our bathrooms look like. Gotta put on my mask because of COVID and everything. We're lucky enough to have pod bathrooms. So it basically means that we just don't have to worry about like showering with each other or anything. I think in like the BBB dorms, you do have like showers with each other, but these bathrooms are really nice. I'm happy with these bathrooms. You get your own shower, you can like set up your phone to play music in one of these little things, something like that. I love Syracuse University. You love Syracuse University? You can't University? tell, but I'm smiling. That's so exciting. Our football team is so good. Oh my so God, good. so good. But like, this weekend's game, we're gonna crush We're them. actually gonna oh my win. God, we're gonna get it. I'm making her, I lost I'm making her a shirt out of masks. Oh, that's it's really like a cool. bikini top. Yeah. We've got this lounge and then We've got like another one for studying and stuff. And we have a nice view. It's pretty cool. So in terms of the specifics, in terms of the information, that's kind of what I have to share with you guys. But let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. And I would be happy to answer like any questions you have about Syracuse, whether it's about like the specifics like that or about the people and like the activities, anything, just let me know. There are a ton of great people at Syracuse. I think that's one of the best parts is that it's a pretty big school and so there's a place for everyone. I feel like everyone can kind of fit in here somewhere and just like meet the groups of people that they want to hang out with. Obviously it's a little bit harder this year just because we don't have like in-person clubs and stuff like that and then like you're sitting far away from people in classes even if you are in classes but like still Honestly, if this is like the worst it gets, I'm super happy with this school. Everyone has worked hard in high school, but then also is like willing to have a good time. Like it's a good party school, everything like that. So I'm a big proponent of this school, I guess. I'm happy to have gone here, but I guess now I will get into uh, my little vlog I made of a weekend so you can kind of see what a weekend might look like at Syracuse but like take it with a grain of salt because obviously it has to be YouTube friendly so I'm not gonna like yeah, I mean yeah but then in addition to that everyone's weekends among different people are probably pretty different here and also just what I would do on a weekend kind of varies a lot depending on the weekend but here's one example <laughs> Welcome to a weekend at Syracuse University during COVID. <laughs> so I just got a test for COVID like two days ago and it came back negative, but then my everyone from my entire residence hall got like randomly selected to get another test. So I gotta go, go do that now. We're going to the gym now. No, we're not. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I do. Honestly. All right, I've got some homework I should probably do before I go out, so I have less homework on Sunday night. And then I just woke up my roommate EJ. I was trying to be quiet. We we out here. We we rented a zip car for 29 minutes, and uh, we were about to go to the mall, but the the mall is uh is too far away to go to in 29 minutes. So we're just out here booling. We're out here booling in the car. Yo, EJ, this is not a one, one way road. One -way this road. is not a one way road. It's we're in the left lane. That, look at that double, double yellow line. Welcome to Great Britain. Close on Sunday. 
you my chick fil -A. Close on Sunday. All right, so hopefully that video was informative. Here I am in the study lounge here. Uh, every floor has a little study lounge in addition to the normal lounge. So we have kind of fun little pods to work in here. But hopefully that video was informative for you guys and hopefully you enjoyed the little vlog I put at the end there. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below so you see more videos like it. And if I get lots of likes on this video, then I'll make more videos like it. Comment down below if you're going to Syracuse or where you're going. I would definitely recommend this school. Big fan. Um, um, so thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.